also expected to make a court appearance today is the University of Idaho murder suspect who could be put to death if he's convicted. ABC's Allison Kosick has those details. This morning, prosecutors say they will pursue the death penalty for Brian Koberger, the suspect in the gruesome murders of four University of Idaho students last fall. They're saying that his acts were especially heinous, that while committing one murder, he was preparing for another. They're also saying that he's a danger to society and that he has an utter disregard for human life. If they're able to prove just one of these factors, Brian Koberger could be put to death. 28-year-old Koberger, who was a criminology PhD student at nearby Washington State University, is accused of killing Kaylee Gonzalez, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin at this off-campus home. Gonzalez's family says they're grateful the death penalty is on the table, saying there is no one more deserving than the defendant in this case. We continue to pray for all the victims' families. Meanwhile, Koberger is due in court today for a hearing on several matters. His lawyers are pushing to get the state to hand over more materials from the grand jury indictment. They're also raising questions about the testing done on DNA found at the crime scene. Court documents revealed that a cheek swab taken from Koberger is a statistical match to the DNA found. Koberger's trial is set for October 2nd. As for the death penalty, Idaho has not executed an inmate since 2012, and a new state law takes effect next month, authorizing a firing squad as a method of execution. Allison Kosick, ABC News, New York.